Ben Sebastian here, curator of the Sonic Symphonic Podcast, composer of the Callison series of albums. Um, again, lo-fi setup, main rig out of action. Uh, so, uh, sorry, it's not all singing and dancing, but uh, hopefully the music will be. And uh, this is, looks to be quite an interesting submission, um, and one I'm interested to listen to. I haven't had the time to sort of do my usual sort of 20 second preview, so I literally have no idea where, where this is going to go. The artist <clears throat> is Zoya, uh, Zoya Bellus, and uh, um, from the Bandcamp bio, which uh, I'll put links below, uh, she appears to be from the Netherlands and has sort of been doing music sort of all, all her life. Um, is a sort of an underground metal musician and it uh, kind of seems that she sort of started her own solo project in 2020 and about this particularly song well particularly song particular song uh she says this is her very first fully composed song so firstly congratulations are in order um she says she's very excited but very nervous at the same time um well we all understand that and uh, uh it's great that you've overcome the nerves and you've put it out there. Um, I mean, I remember when I kind of first put out stuff, you just you just don't know where it's going to go. You, we, you kind of get in your own way. Uh, and, and it's good that you've just sended that and uh, you're here and you're on this channel. Um, so, you know, I'm really looking, I'm really looking forward to pushing play on this one. Um, so, yeah, so I'm just going to sum this, yeah, excuse me if uh, any repetition i put my teeth back in and learn to talk properly but uh, throughout her life she was always trying to write some kind of music here and there be it a short piece of piano parts of the song vocal lines for previous bands but she's never had the courage to write an entire song um and she sort of sees she sort of says something quite odd of that um afterwards she says i mean how could i dare to do that i mean yeah, you should dare to do that if it's feeling a little uncomfortable, if it's feeling a little bit weird or a little bit sketchy or you feel you can't complete, you know, what that symbolizes to me is you're, is if you're if you're feeling that way, you, you, you are really sort of existing in, on, on a knife's edge or you're leaning into the edge of a knife to use a phrase by uh, a Buddhist of mentor that, uh, um, uh, that I've been read, that I was reading some years ago. And, and that means that you're growing. Uh, so, uh, and then she also goes on to say she never felt herself worthy of writing music. Uh, but I mean, if you've been contributing to bands and doing bits and stuff, then, you know, of course you're worthy of writing music. You're adept at it to, to some degree. And when comparing musician to musician, it doesn't matter about the degrees, those things matter just as part of your own journey and, and, and not by comparison to anyone else. Um, and uh, uh, and uh, uh, she sort of started a project in 2020, I said this, um, and uh, writing her own songs, she had some ideas, but she couldn't finish any of them, I suppose, procrastination and, and fear and unsurety and, and getting that sort of like practices of being a writer and, and I suppose even sort of like calling yourself a, a, a writer, you know that that takes that takes a little bit of, of time, and uh, uh, but anyway, in one evening in September of 2022, um, uh, part after part, note after note, uh, she managed to sort of uh, get something down. Uh, there were things going on in her head uh, that uh, that she says were, were were kind of going around faster than she could actually put them down, and that's an experience, you know. I well. I still have it today. Um, it's amazing you can sort of compose something. I'll lay some chords down, and then it's just you, this cacophony, and and the mind works faster than the ability to to play or to work it out what you're hearing. So it's very refreshing to to read this kind of stuff. And it's not just me. Um, it's not just my neurodivergent ass being absolutely crazy and getting in my own way and winding me up and terrorizing my compositional processes. Um, and uh, so her, her husband uh, is obviously clearly supporting uh, uh, supporting her in this endeavor and, and good on him uh, and good for her. Um, 
as, as, as uh, sort of uh, said in a, in a comment that this song is very her uh, and and she says it's weird raw experimental perhaps not for everyone um she doesn't expect us all to like it but she's proud of it and that that's the main thing that's the main thing in, in this channel through my podcast and through everything i sort of try to do it's try to give a, some form of a message of, in, of an empowerment to stick at your craft as a way of surpassing the vicissitudes of life and uh, and if you do that if you can invest in yourself and in, invest in your innate talents then then that is that is life with a purpose um not only is it a healing mechanism uh, or, or even a coping strategy you know it, it is something that is identity affirming as someone with a diagnosis of borderline personality disorder um, which involves a destabilization of identity for me it's something that I've got to make time for it's something I've always got to invest in and it kind of keeps me you know in one piece and whole and and then again this that that's it links back to why I do this so you know well done for coming out with this and uh, I'll stop talking let's start listening actually let's start watching because I discovered that there is actually sort of a bit of a video to this track so okay Zoya just let me brackets parenthesis Diana
Bist du gewollt, bin um, bin es. Bist du gewollt, bin um, bin es. Bist du gewollt, bin um, bin es. Stupid, shut up. That's cute. That's cute. Okay, cool. Right. Sorry, this is all very lo-fi and clicky. Right, okay. I'm going to go straight off the bat. Zoya, you are one cool individual. I totally, totally mean that. And it's like really so good that you've come out with with your own composition you know what this reminds me a, a lot of like some of Taj's like more of the off the wall kind of stuff um uh i think oh, what was an album can't remember the name of the album i'm gonna be really unprofessional oh, oh bloody hell see there you go <laughs> as if the timing was perfect there um is it colors in the dark or something like this <clears throat> I had that kind of vibe that he's going to hear me clicking. Um, yes, it was. I was absolutely correct. Of course I was correct. Yes, uh, it had a lot about the vibe of that album about it. Look, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Literally that first minute. Well, literally you had my hair standing up on end in seconds. That's no mean feat. I mean, yes, I'm emotionally hyperreactive um, because of, you know, my mental health and stuff um but uh but yeah this i look uh, this is an important video for me i know i'm on the cheap rig and this is all very lo-fi and i'm being less bombastic than you've probably seen in in videos but this is one of the reasons look at, i'm getting watery eyes now this is one of the reasons that i set out to do this is to find people that are a little bit hesitant and and for, for whatever reason that is and it's never always a good reason it's never always a healthy reason but you're talented you know um so I'm sort of making a bit of a mess of this. Um, yeah, so this is the, this is the reason you know I do this is is just to encourage people like you to not only sort of take the take the first step and be done that, but just just keep on honing that. That was absolutely beautiful. The introduction was was awesome. The, the, the styling of the music, it's kind of, sort of choppy, changey, kind of keeps you on your toes. It, it, it adds to the atmosphere when combined with your voice, which, you know, may I say, is absolutely bang, you know. Um, when I say it reminded me of of the Tarja kind of stuff, it wasn't because you, you're imitating it, it's because you are fucking close very 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 fucking close to that you know um you have a craft you have an innate talent you have an ability to make you know a man you know, big manly man like me get all goosebumpy spine tingly and bleary you know watery eyed um and uh if this is your first, well, I can't wait to hear your tenth, and you need to you need to get that. Um, this 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 is the things that I was I was hearing because not only is it just you know, the, 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 yeah, the vocals, the, the musical side of the composition, um, I can hear as in my sort of mind as a as a keyboardist and sort of orchestral composer, I was hearing all sorts of stuff. I mean, you'd be an artist already, despite your nervous debut self, cautious self, um, that I would love to, like, you know, work with. Um, and uh, yeah, going back to my point, this is, this is, this is, this is the type of background and, and person and, and talent that, you know, is, it's a hard mix to find, um, and 
and the perfect kind of setting uh, for my encouragement such as it is um, and I appreciate this it probably hasn't been my best video in terms of elocution um, but uh, it's certainly one of my most sincere uh, and I really do mean that so I, I really do mean that um, brilliant brilliant absolutely brilliant love that artwork too um, uh, yeah and yeah just love the whole style like I say you're one awesome individual and uh, and, and and bless you bless you for bringing this to the table this is uh, uh, to my inbox um, can't thank you enough uh, get in touch keep me posted um, for you guys watching uh, watching me go off on this massive tangent there's links below um, give this woman this fine individual your support wholly deserving of it links below I've been Ben Sebastian and I've been quite surprised that tonight pleasantly so got me got me in the feels well done well done well done